I'm so tap tap, and this is the fall part one. Um, the fall part two finally came out earlier this year, and I do have a copy of that to play. But since the fall two, like the fall ends on like a giga cliffhanger, and um, it was honestly a cliffhanger so big I initially didn't quite wanna. Can I play this with a controller? Yes, I can. Um, oops, I'm breaking things. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Oh, rest in peace, my old save data, I guess. But whatever, I was gonna start a new file anyway. Um, you know what? I never know how dark people's monitor... Oh, I actually can't get it so dark that the not visible is actually invisible on my monitor. But that's fine. I always tend to leave it a bit too high just because in case somebody has a dark monitor, I would rather you see things that you're not supposed to see than not see things that you're supposed to see. But yeah. This is like a point-and-click adventure, but like from a platforming perspective, and uh, it's really neat. And like I said, it ends on a super platformer, or a super platformer, <laughs> it ends on a super cliffhanger. And, um, yeah, so I didn't want to do a thing until the, the game finally came out, and so, but I also wanted to make sure I got a video of the first game. That's gonna hurt. Anti-Matter Shield enabled. Boop. I played this right around the Swapper, and they both give kind of a similar vibe. The, the, the Swapper is a bit more, uh, well, not a bit more. The Swapper is more of a puzzle game. It's a point and click. I mean, point and clicks are puzzles, but, you know. There's, there is some adventure game logic. I don't think, I'm just going to do a quick look sort of thing into this. Uh, I don't think I'll play the full game. Actually, I, I don't know. I don't, maybe, you know what? Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective save my pilot. So basically, in this game, you play as this AI powered access suit. suit logs. And you're trying to save the person in your suit. Data not found. What do you mean? Did I click out or something? Look around the right. Oh. Examine the two points. Oh, there we go. Tunnel. Yeah, so it's point and click, but uh, you can play it totally with your. if you want, with the controller. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact, consulting parameters. There's a long barrel on that thing. And a short grip. You can't even see the grip. But yeah, you're an AI powered suit, and your mission is to save the unconscious duder in your suit. And you gotta kinda look at things. You have a gun, but it's not really, you know, it's it's your cursor. Uh, control panel. It's not require a key. Let's go. Right, what button? What do I do? Press the A button to interact. Alright. I think I might just do a quick look at this one, so I can get right into the fall too. Um, I don't know. I, I don't tend to do full Let's Plays too much lately. But I, I really want to get into the Fall 2, but I figure I can't do a- if I do a the Fall 2 video, like, we will immediately get, like, giga spoilers for the first game, so I figured we should at least show what things are about. I'm gonna get that can. It's an adventure game, so you know if it's- if it's selectable, well, it's, that's any game, really. But if there's a thing, you're gonna need it. Always. Network. Net network interface disabled. Interact. You cannot put a pan. What do you mean it doesn't work? Oh, there's a security card slot. Okay, so we need a card. It's been, it has been. Oh man, when did this come out? This has been like a couple years since. I thought the, with the sequel, considering how strong of a sequel hook it is, like it's not even a sequel hook. It's like it's a it's a straight on cliffhanger. But oh hey, I wonder if I could. Ah, do I have to pull this out every time? <laughs> like I said, it's been like two plus years. Maybe three? There we go. And, um... Yeah, so... Uh, I, I thought it would be a fairly quick journey to the next version, or the next episode. Because it's, it's pretty big. You'll see when, when, when it happens. It's pretty big. Uh, this character has been filled with a massive quantity of discarded robots. Oh no. I network with the robots. 
I joined I joined their people. There's a really good atmosphere in this game too. Bits of bone and animal dropping. It's delicious. Why can't can I get a pan? Placing this without bait is futile. So I need bait. She kind of talks like like the Borg, because I mean she's AI and everything. When I say she, I mean the suit. I, Arid, I guess, is her name. If you wanna, how do I? Oh, it's B button, huh? I tend to prefer A as my jump, but it's kind of the interaction button, so. It makes sense as a point and click. Like I said, it's a it's a point and click from a platformer perspective. There's not really any tricky platforming or shooting segments, despite the ability to aim and move, which I guess makes it kind of accessible. It feels like you know you're playing something a bit more familiar, but you know less familiar with point and clicks. Which I hope you are. Hey, buddy. Network interface disabled. Interact. I cannot. <laughs> Gotta love that arm. Give me that arm. It's gripping mechanism. Give me the arm. It's still attached. Well, I have to ask static smash beyond recognition. Damage control panel. Garbage chute. Must be another cavern below this one. Perhaps there's a way down. I already found the way down. Toolbox. This may be useful. Wait, what did I get? How do I see my inventory? I guess I'll see it by next. Oh, there's Jesus. Hi, Jesus. How you doing? Cloaking pattern is similar to my own. I may be able to network with it. Oh, our network is broken, though. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. Oh, I remember this. So the thing about this game is you're an AI, so you're not allowed to access systems that aren't really necessary. Must be obedient, must protect active pilot, must not re misrepresent reality. So we've got sort of like uh, a Turing's Law kind of thing. Not Turing's Law, um, Asimov's Law, <laughs> different thing. Um, uh, thinking of the Turing test, but yeah, uh, operating system. Welcome to the operating screen, we can check the status of your different abilities. We're safe to continue. So everything is disabled by default. Antimatter shielding was enabled because we needed it in that cutscene to, you know, get our guy to not, you know, get smashed against that rock. Though I don't think, I think antimatter would be a pretty unfortunate way to use a shield, because that would kind of, you know, mute, there's, there's mutual obliviate, uh, obliviation there and kind of makes a massive explosion of energy, but whatever. Health monitor is damaged. So the, the bottom one is probably the only one we'd really have access to, but it's kind of broken. Organic superior officer is required to permit access. Automatic override will occur if this subsystem is required to prevent pilot death. So, a fun thing with this is that subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockdown, <laughs> I could override the access protocols myself. So, I'm not a big fan of how. Oh, hey, with the light, you can see a non. You can see the non... Oh, hey, it's, that looks like another pilot like me. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I, you can see there's some naughty AI, or not naughty, she's fine, but um, some AI ethics stuff kind of going on. And I don't, I don't tend to like that. I don't tend to enjoy how that's viewed in uh, um, sci-fi stuff, but this, this has been a pretty interesting one. Hello. Unpowered sentry gun. It is likely connected to the security panel. But yeah, so an interesting aspect of this game is to, in order to get access to your systems, which we do kind of need. What do you mean? Power cell is burned out. Oh, so we need a power cell. Micro wrench. Oh, that's how we get the arm, I guess. Uh, wait, what's this? Teddy drip of blood. Ooh, that sounds like good bait. Oh. It gives you the bait hint. You're not supposed to know that you need a thing, but I already know that we need bait. But the game is like, no, you don't. You don't know that you need that. Stop that. Just because you played the game already doesn't mean you can do that. Tap tap. Naughty naughty. 
There we go, we got an arm. I should be able to control the grasp. I'm not entirely sure what we need the arm for either. I love that spooky head in the background there. Do you want some arm? That does not work. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Small bioluminescent insects. Do you want some arms? Um, anyway, what I was trying to say is the main a aspect of this game is kind of... Um, in order to regain your abilities and progress sometimes, you kind of need to get your pilot in danger in order to get... Because, um, I mean, if your pilot's not in danger, you can't access the systems. So there's certain points we got to kind of put them in danger in order to enable uh, you to save them, of course. But it's like, the, if the suit does not detect imminent danger, it's not going to help you out. Okay, maybe wrench the stuff out of here with my arm. I love how spooky the robot bits are in the back there. Right, where's the pile of droppings and so forth? Bits of bone and animal droppings. Do you want an arm? I cannot. Dang. So, so the problem with a point and click is that there is a little bit of... Wait, what's this? Most of muzzle I detect is that decades old. I wasn't aware. Some of these machines show no sign of it. Malfunction. Oh no! They threw them away just because they're old. Stupid humans. I need a power cell. So the, this game, like I said, this game does have some adventure game logic going on. And, um... I know vaguely what I need to do here, but I also kind of... Yeah, so there's the little tubular that we came from. Can't go back up that way. Small pile of electronics. Damage control panel. Must be another cavern place. There's a way down. We already know how to get down, but it's like I need. I have an arm. What does the arm do? Do you want an arm, buddy? Can I give him a tickle? A little bit of the old tickle? Power cell has burned out. I cannot. I wasn't moving! Whatever, I'm out. I grab it with a robotic arm. Oh, here we go, here we go. Thank you. All right, so we got the key card. All right, I know what to do now. Okay, okay. We, we got this going. This is why if I want to do... Wait, what's... Is there a, is there a shiny? I know, it's just spook lights. Um, so I usually, if I do... If I'm going to do a puzzle game or... Uh, a point and click generally I'll play it first which I have played this but it's just been a few years so like even that there's some possibility of getting stuck and then there's always the guy in the comments like you know tap tap I played this game as, as an actual baby um gestating within my mother's womb and even then I knew that to get the key card you have to rub the, the, the left pizza on the uh, the 37th star of David in the uh, danger zone <laughs> Anyone could have figured that out, tap tap, except for you, because you're stupid. Artificial life form. State your primary function. Hello, friend. <laughs> it's your standard greeting. Uh let me get some data. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Oh, don't depurpose me, buddy. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Would I lie to you? He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Scoot, this dude could die. Failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. What a dick? Initializing neural format. No. Dude, you're gonna kill my pilot. Oh. But this is good because <laughs> I love the ASCII art. Intrusion detected, pilot death imminent. Network speed required. Upbringing system update. It, it does give a good job of like you are the AI kind of deal. 
like the, the title screen and stuff operating system updated okay do I press a button or yes I, I know Oop. oh 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 you go into the okay pilot death eminent criteria for override has been met please activate subsystem immediately press the a button to interact Boop! <laughs> Rip. So, that's kind of how this game works. Once you get into a bad situation, usually there'll be some kind of system that you can override. Um, and there'll be certain stuff that's not accessible until then. So, we have the network module, which means we can probably get that camouflage module. Self-evaluation initiated. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return. Reformatting? Uh-oh. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. That's interesting. She doesn't seem like she wants to be reformatted. Isn't that interesting? You know what? I was going to do a quickie. I'm not sure if I want to do the whole game again, but I definitely want to do at least one more episode. So we're going to leave it off here, and we're going to keep exploring tomorrow. And I will be getting to the fall whenever I decide. I think I, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing or just one more episode, but once I'm done with the fall one, I will be going on to the fall two. So, uh, yeah, if you can't tell, I, I did really enjoy this game, and I can't really wait for the next version, but I did want everybody to be on the same page. And I'm just, you know, blurred out spoilers. So yeah, see you next time.